Hey guys, it's Alex from 7th Hour Films, back again with Doctor Who. Last time on Doctor Who, we had the Army of Ghosts, where there were a bunch of ghosts uh, chilling out all over the world, and um, apparently these ghosts were, like, phasing into our reality thanks to the good people at the Torchwood Institute. Hooray! Um, way to go, Torchwood. But, um, turns out... Uh, well, when the doctor went to confront them, uh, some stuff happened. Uh, they also have a void ship, which can travel between... It can travel to the space between dimensions that exist outside of time. Yeah, that's pretty much it, right? Pre pretty much. Something along those lines, I think I get it. Um, yeah, and eventually... The ghosts are revealed to actually not be ghosts, but they are Cybermen. And uh, with this, Mickey came back, which is nice. Nice to see Mickey back. And um, then the doctor was like, so what's in the sphere? It's some sort of Cybermen Emperor or something? Or something like that. And the Cybermen are just like, it's not ours. We just followed it to this universe. And he's just like, I'm sorry, what? And, um, yeah, so the sphere opens, and Daleks, hooray, everyone's favorite, Daleks. So the Daleks are here, and, and the only people standing in the way of the Daleks and the Doctor, I guess, are Mickey, Rose, and a Torchwood Scientist. It is also worth noting that at the beginning of the last episode, Rose said this is the story of how she dies. Okay, this is going to be a very intense episode, I can already tell. So, yeah, we're just going to watch this and see what happens and... Oh boy, this is, this is going to be interesting, I can already tell. Um, before we do, this is the part where I say no spoilers in the comments whatsoever. Let's please keep the comments pertained to... The episode that I'm currently reacting to and previous episodes that I reacted to. Um, in terms of Classic Who spoilers, just be very, very, very vague about it. So, yeah. That is basically everything we need to say. Let's see how Rose dies. This is a story of how I died. No! Dang it! Quit saying that! Holy crap. I know your name. Damn, Rose, that's... that's... Oh no, that one street they always film on. Oh god, things are already, like, erupting into a war. We will extract brainwaves! Oh, that's not good. Just cut out the middleman. Specifically, him. Oh... Oh my gosh, Cybermen versus Daleks. It's about to go down. <laughs> oh boy. Identify yourself. Exterminate. Dalek one, Cybermen zero. We would destroy the Cybermen with one Dalek. Ooh. You are superior in only one respect. What is that? You are better at dying. Please, communications barrier. Nice. Wait. All right then. If you really want to know, he's the doctor. That's the doctor. <laughs> Oh, they're scared. Five million Cybermen. The Queen and Country. I did my duty. Queen doesn't even know about this crap. Oh, God. I did my duty. Man, don't make me feel bad for her. This is all her fault. I hope she got emotion. And here it comes. Whoa. 
Whoa, who that? Oh, ooh. Doctor, good to see you again. Oh, the dude. Now you're not in charge here. This is our world, not yours. And you're gonna listen for once. Wait, let him go. Wait. I could transport. Bring him, Pete. But it only carries one. But why would they build something they can't open themselves? The technology is stolen. Stolen. The ark is not of Dalek design. Well, who made this? The Time Lords. Ah, oh, dang it, Time Lords. Is, all that is there any, any sort of sign? Anything to identify it? Yes, yeah. a fire extinguisher. Yeah, that helps. <laughs> oh, wait a minute, it's set. She's not my wife. I was at the wedding. <laughs> you got her name wrong. Now then, Jakey boy, if I can open up a bullet yeah. chamber on this thing, working poly He was at the wedding, I forgot about that. Place your hand. What happened to the Emperor? The Emperor survived? Till he met me. <laughs> yeah. Because if these are going to I met the Emperor. She killed and him. I took the time vortex and poured it into his head and turned him into dust. <sighs> Do you get that? Well, God, Rose is such a badass. Oh, no. I was there at the fall of Arcadia. Someday I might even come to terms with that. Whatever you that is. What? Run away! Must be important. We had to. The cult of Scarrow. I thought you were just a legend. Who are they? A secret order. A cult. Above and beyond the Emperor and A Dalek cult. Their job was to imagine. Think as the enemy thinks. Ooh. They'd have names. That is clever. To find new ways of killing. A sonic probe. That screwdriver. It yeah. is harmless. Oh, yes. It is very good at opening doors. Oh. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, Alliance of Convenience! Oh no, crap, Mickey! Mickey, with us, they've opened it by force to do that, they've blown up the sun, so you've done us a favor. Now run! Oh, good. Yay, Mickey didn't screw up for once. Ooh. Nice shot. Oh, this is gonna be fun. You didn't marry again, or...? There was never anyone else. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, they don't believe so. that. All those daft little plans of mine. I love when they oh, say daft. So fun. Yay! Odd sticks. Oh my gosh. The greatest sci-fi battle of all time is happening. All the units. All five million of them across the world. Uh oh. I don't know why I want them to like wave as they go by. What does he see with those glasses? Oh, it's a lot of dollars. Science. Bigger on the inside. Oh! The timeline's put those Dalek. How many Daleks? Millions. Alright, Rose, you're gonna have to go get the Time Vortex again. That seems to be the only way this is going to be resolved. Isn't anyone gonna ask? What is it with the glasses? What is it with the glasses? What is it with the glasses? I can see! That's what! To see what? We've got two separate worlds. But if I've been through it, you see? Rebooted in three minutes. Whoa, that's. What is it? Void stuff. Void stuff. And the only one who hasn't been through the void, your mother. It's Jackie. First time she's looked no one in her life. Why? The Daleks <laughs> lived inside the void. Back to Pete's world. Hey, we should call it that. Pete's world. Okay, good to know. Pete's world. I'm opening the void. You will not pass. Is that Yvonne Hartman? I did my duty for Queen and Country. Yeah. I did my duty for Queen and Country. I did my duty Aww. for Queen and Country. That's so sad. Leave us off. Oh, look at them go. Oh my gosh, that's amazing seeing them all go through like that. Say temporal shift. Oh, he survived. I knew the Daleks wouldn't go away that easily. Oh, Rose. No, 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 no. Oh, don't do it.
Oh, Pete! Pete, when did you get there? Oh. Crap, they're separated. Jeez, man. I mean, that was kind of his original plan, but... Oh. But you're alive this time. You've got Mickey, you've got both of your parents. You just don't have the doctor. And it takes a lot of power to send this projection. I'm in orbit around a supernova. I'm burning up a sun just to say goodbye. <laughs> oh my gosh. This translates as Bad Wolf Bay. Oh my gosh, Bad Wolf Bay. So the torchwood on this planet's open for business. I think I know a thing or two about aliens. She's Rose Tyler, defender of the Earth. She's part of Torchwood now. That's good. So many people died that day, and you've gone missing. That's you're on the list of the dead. That's how she died. I love you. <laughs> Quite right. <laughs> oh my gosh. Rose Tyler. No. Dang it. That's just sad, man. It's a hell of a send off for Rose. What? 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 Who are you? Who are you? Where am I? What? What? What the hell is this place? What? what? Ah, dang it. Don't do a cliffhanger. Ah, <sighs> oh, man, that's that series two, guys. Oh, my gosh. I don't tear up at a lot of things, especially like TV shows and stuff. Oh my gosh. Okay, um, well, the good news is she's not dead. The good news is she's not dead, so that's at least something. And knowing that she has both of her parents and Mickey in another world, in Pete's world as we're calling it, I like that. I do like that. That's a very, that's a nice send-off to a character without, without actually killing her. I like that. It's nice to know that... It's just nice to know she's alive, I guess. Oh my gosh. Okay. So I've got some notes here. Um, I don't have many notes, but yeah, I've got a couple notes here we'll go over real quick. <sighs> okay, first, uh, okay, but first I do have to say. I'm, <laughs> yes, I'm, you know, tearing up because we lost Rose, but I do feel, I don't know, I was afraid of, you know, I don't know, you'd think I would have, I would be, like, in such disarray that our companion is gone, our, my first companion, because, you know, you guys know this is my first time watching Doctor Who, and, you know, I started with Eccleston as the Doctor. And Rose has been on the show longer than both of the Doctors that I've seen. So, you know, she's been, like, the one constant in this show so far. But, again, because they left, because they left her like this, that she's alive, she has her parents, she has Mickey... And she's safe in another world. That does 
Like, I feel... I feel good about this. Like, of all the ways to get rid of a character, this makes me... I don't know, it's like I'm satisfied with this. Like, okay. You know what? That This is okay. We can work with this. Yeah. Um... Okay, now, let's really talk about these notes. Um, I wrote down Time Lord Tech. Interesting that that's kind of what they were doing. The Daleks were using Time Lord Tech in order... Basically, because they wanted to revive... Or they wanted to regain Dalek superiority. So that's really interesting. And I didn't, it didn't even cross my mind when they were talking about Time Lord Tech, that it's the fact that it's bigger on the inside. I just did not even think about that, but that makes, it makes so much sense that, yes, this is a ship, and it's bigger on the inside. That's the whole point of the TARDIS, is that it's bigger on the inside. So, God, I'm still a little teary-eyed. So, that was interesting. And it's also interesting that the Doctor didn't figure that out right away. The fact that even he was like, Time Lord Tech? What? I don't know what this is. The Genesis arc? I don't know what it could be. And then when he saw it, it's like, it sort of, it clicked in his mind too. It's like, it's bigger on the inside. And he's, and it's like, you can almost see the look on his face like, shit. Time Lord Tech is bigger on the inside. So yeah. So I like that. The Dalek Cult. That was interesting. I didn't, I, unfortunately, I didn't catch what the Dalek cult was called. Um, I, I unfortunately missed that. But I like the idea. Because... Yeah, okay, I've gotten this wrong in the past uh, with the Daleks. I, I keep saying that they, like, they've removed all emotions. That's not true. It's just that... Hatred is a driving emotion. But, yeah... It's not that they have removed all emotion. The Cybermen have done that. The Daleks haven't. But I like in their whole, you know, quest to become superior to every life form, you know, they've become very robotic, you know, to the point that it's like, yes, there is still a living being with the Daleks, but it's inside this gigantic metal shell, basically. But I like that they're not... I like the way, I like that they take, they take different ways of achieving their superiority. I like that. Like, it's, they don't just think that they can become superior through mechanical means alone. It's the fact that they're, tr it's the fact that they're doing all this to themselves, but they're still trying to figure out other things. And so this cult that's, you know, given the ability to imagine... You know, it's trying to, this cult that basically, um, or this group that um, was formed so that they could understand their enemy better. That's very smart and very logical. You know, it's not just a, well, their emotions, their imagination will lead to their downfall. You know, how we're mechanical, that's how we're better and stuff. It's like, no, they acknowledge... They acknowledge the strengths of their enemies, especially the Time Lords and especially the Doctor. And so they're, tr so they basically form this thing to use the Doctor's like creativity and everything against him, so that they can become creative enough to beat the Time Lords, since they are uh, runaways, escapees basically from the Time War. So that's interesting. The 3D glasses, I like that that did actually have a use, because it seemed, I don't know, it seemed like, um, it seemed like, um, the whole thing, it seemed like they were, he was just doing that for no reason. It was like, ah, I have 3D glasses this time around, but I'm glad that he did have a reason for that, is that it's, he, he's able to see, like, the void particles and stuff, and I like that. So really great that something so silly him with those 3d glasses actually turned out to be very useful and i love that and i love that about the show and the last thing i wrote down was rose and yeah 
very interesting. <laughs> very, very interesting. And the whole thing, I do kind of like, it's also very clever that they, they basically, they tricked me. And I, I don't know if they tricked you when uh, this episode first came out, but the whole thing of, both at the beginning of both of these episodes, when Rose is like, you know, this is the story of how I died. It's like, okay, well, technically, how you died on the original uh, Earth 1, I guess. See, we got a name for Earth 2, Pete's World, but what do we call the other Earth? I guess just the Doctor's Earth. I was like, so, so, yeah. She is among the dead on the Doctor's Earth, but she's still alive on Pete's Earth now, and I really like that, and man, that was emotional, and I'm still kind of getting over it. Um, so that's everything I wrote down about the episode. Now, uh, let's talk about Series 2 overall. I really like Series 2. Now, now do I like it more... Do I like it more than Series 1? Now, that's, a, that's really tough. I don't think so. I guess, in all actuality, like... Okay, like, when I think back to, like, okay, stronger episodes and weaker episodes of each series, like... Okay, for me, probably in Series 1, I'd say the weakest episode, if I can remember them all... Here... I'm actually going to, just so I can remember every episode that we've had, um, I'm not looking up, I'm not looking up, like, on IMDb. I'm going, I'm going to go to my playlist, the playlist for my reactions to it. Okay, let's see. Rose, The End of the World, The Unquiet Dead, Aliens of London, World War III, Dalek, The Long Game, Father's Day, The Empty Child, The Doctor Dances, Boomtown, Bad Wolf, The Parting of Whites. <sighs> okay. Um... Probably, in terms of Series 1, I'd say the weakest episode was The Long Game. I still like The Long Game, but it, I, I would definitely say it's the weakest episode. In terms of Series 2... In terms of Series 2, I'd say the weakest episode was Love and Monsters. Because um, I just... Although, eh, maybe that's not too fair. Okay, here's what I'll say. See, that's not fair for... That's not fair for the long game, either. Because, see, the problem is, I do generally like... I did overall like the long game, I just thought it was the weakest episode. And while... I don't... While I didn't care for Love and Monsters, it mostly came from the ending. So... Yeah, I don't know... I don't know, it's hard. Like, it, it's hard to choose, like, which one had the weaker story. So... Okay, which one had the best stories? That's what we're going to talk about. Okay, in terms of the best story from... In terms of the best episode from Series 1... I mean, The Empty Child and The Doctor Dances really stick out. You could compare those to The Impossible Planet and The Satan Pit, for sure. So there's that. Um... And, you know, Army of Ghosts, Army of Ghosts and Doomsday, you know, are pretty much up there with Bad Wolf and The Parting of the Ways. Okay, here's what I'm going to say. <clears throat> oh, God, this is hard to... This is hard. I, it's... God, it's like picking between children. I don't know if I can really give a definitive answer on which series is better, uh, one or two. I will say that I like them very equally. They both have their strengths and their weaknesses, I will say. So, um, I also, for that matter, cannot say which doctor I prefer, uh, Christopher Eccleston or David Tennant. I really like them both, and honestly, they're just, they are a little different. I can't quite put my finger on why, but they are a little different. Now, I'd say I like them equally, I might be a bit biased towards Christopher Eccleston because he was my first Doctor, and I really loved him as the Doctor. So maybe I'm a little biased towards him, but... Yeah. Um... Yeah, so there's that. Um... Focusing more on just Series 2... 
Okay, uh, I will say I do have a favorite episode from Series 2, and that's The Grill in the Fireplace. I really love that episode. Um, yeah, I just love, I mean, first off, I, I love when they go to the past. It's, it's interesting for a time travel show. I thought they'd be going to the past more often, but not really. I mean, yeah, we go to the past every once in a while, but we go to the future a lot, and we, you know, chill out in the present day a lot, so... And it's not a criticism that they don't go into the past a lot, but I really like it when they go to the past, and I thought The Girl in the Fireplace was an exceptionally good episode. So, yeah, probably probably Girl in the Fireplace would be my favorite episode from this series. In terms of a... I guess a runner-up for that? Uh, a runner-up would probably be Doomsday, I'd say. Doomsday was really good. And then, you know... After Doomsday, it's it's hard. You're really splitting hairs between a lot of the episodes. Um, but yeah, and then uh, obvious for me, for me, the worst episode would still be Love and Monsters. Again, it's not it's not really bad or horrible. I just didn't really care for it. So yeah, that's that's pretty much that. I don't know what else I can really say. Yeah, really like series two. Um, overall, loved Series 2, still love this show, it's amazing. Like, I'm about to start considering this, uh, one of my favorite shows ever. This is really great. Um, yeah. I mean, that's pretty much that, I don't know what else I can say. Great episode, great series, really love it, can't wait to see where we're going next. And, yeah. Um, a couple things, uh, a couple house cleaning thing, housekeeping things we need to talk about. Um, guess what? Torchwood. Torchwood, the spinoff show. Um, I'm going to be reacting to Torchwood, and the first episode will go up Monday, August 13th. Torchwood, season one, series one, episode one, everything changes. So yeah, I will be reacting to that. Those are going to go out on Mondays, every Monday at noon Central Standard Time. Um, now, you may also know I'm doing Stranger Things reactions. Basically, Stranger Things and Torchwood are just going to overlap. They're both going to, they're going to be uploaded at the same time on Mondays until Stranger Things ends. And then Torchwood will just be the dominant show now on Mondays. So there's that. Um, let's see, next week we have the Christmas special, uh, Series 3, Episode 0, technically. So we got that going, but, um, something interesting. So, a fan was very, very gracious enough to create a giant, I'm talking friggin' giant, uh, Google spreadsheet detailing in such great detail how I need to watch Doctor Who, Torchwood, The Sarah Jane Adventures, and Classic Doctor Who. And basically, everything's been pretty simple up to this point. This is, as the first episode of Torchwood says, everything, everything changes now. So, um, basically, basically, things have been pretty simple up to this point. We've just been watching Doctor Who. But, um... Torchwood now is going to be going alongside Doctor Who on Mondays, but to line up Torchwood with Doctor Who, um, things had to get a little shaky at the beginning. So basically, here's what I'm here's here's what I'm trying to tell you. Um, August thirteenth, Torchwood episode one goes up. All right. August fifteenth, Doctor Who. Christmas special, The Runaway Bride, goes up. Uh, the next the next Monday, that would be uh, Monday, August 20th, Torchwood Episode 2 goes up. Then, we have a divergence. Um, basically, on Wednesday, August 22nd, there will not be an episode of regular Doctor Who. Um, this is because, um, to keep everything in line, the first two episodes of Torchwood have to start have, I have to watch the first two episodes of Torchwood before Series 3, Episode 1 of Doctor Who. So, don't worry, you're still getting Doctor Who on that day. Um, I'm not, technically I'm not skipping Doctor Who altogether that day. 
while um, while we are delaying Series 3 Episode 1, I will be doing a reaction to Doctor Who Classic Season 1 Episode 1 and Unearthly Child Parts 1 through 4. That's going to be fun. So, yeah. Um, and I... Yeah, you know what? That's all I'm going to say about that. Uh, you'll see when it comes out. So, yeah. Oh, God. Jeez. God. Oh. Jeez, I'm burping like crazy. So, mark your calendars so that when normal, so when Series 3 Episode 1 doesn't go up on August 22nd, you don't, you know, break out your pitchforks and your torches, your torchwood. Um, yeah, don't, just don't worry about it. Uh, we're going to be doing one, just for one week, we're going to be doing Classic Doctor Who, Series 1, Season 1, Episode 1, and Unearthly Child Parts 1 through 4. And then the following week, we will go right back into regular Doctor Who, and it's pretty much going to stay that way uh, through Series Three. There won't be any, there won't be anything else that's really crazy. It's not until Series Four that I get back to classic Who, according to the thing. So yeah, I've been talking for a long time, and yeah, I'm, st I'm God, I'm still a little teary-eyed over all this. So yeah, thank you all for watching this episode. Really loved it. Really loved this show. And yeah, can't wait to start Torchwood. Can't wait to get to uh, The Runaway Bride. And I can't wait to get to An Unearthly Child. So yeah, now, okay, now my eye itches. Uh, all right, anyway. Uh, with all this being said, I'm Alex from 7th Hour Films, and I will see you guys next time. Take care. Alright guys, thanks for watching this episode of Doctor Who. If you want to watch more of my reactions, you can click down here to the playlist below me. I've got some other videos you can check out, and the subscribe button if you haven't done that already. You can follow me on social media, links below in the description. Later.